number two, can, do you know, um, you're, you told me that, so for this uh, antibiotic, uh, one store gave you a cash price of $6 and... Uh, 51 cents. Gave me the other price? What was, which store told you, you said that another Walgreens told you that it was $6.71. Uh -huh. Which store was that? Oh, I'm, I cannot give you the the, uh, the name or the information of the store because what the organized crime uh, does is they go and they uh, intimidate or coerce people uh, that have uh, said the truth and have done uh, things right. So that's why I cannot give you that information because I'm afraid for them. And once I mentioned a police officer that tried to help me, and he resulted assassinated by other police officers that worked with him uh, while I was doing my research about the trafficking of identities and government benefits. So this is why I cannot give you that information. But the medication in another store, uh, uh, the price was six fifty one, and I do not want the sugar pills that they uh, sell me that they sold me uh, for uh, Imitrix. Uh, genetics. So I don't know if you want me to take it back to the to the Walgreens or uh, what what you want me to do with it. But I called uh, the inspector general's office and I put a stop payment on it. You are not going to get paid for it uh, because uh, it is it is illegitimately that those pills should not be sold. It they are the equivalent of sugar pills and they are made in India when we have. Um, uh, distributor right here in the United States that uh, sells good um, somatriptan, the genetics for Imetrex. So I don't understand, well I understand why Walgreen is involved in this uh, fraudulent behavior and is bu buying uh, no good medication and selling it to the public, but uh, the consumers should not be treated that way. No, that's not what your store has in stock because I have bought other um, uh, uh, somatriptans at, at Walgreens before, and that was what your store, what that was what your store had in in stock after the African American that followed me to Walgreens, the gang stalker, uh, contacted uh, Walgreens in Bath, New York. Because let me just tell you something: the somatriptan that they sold me uh, comes come in a box uh, and. It comes with nine pills, so they took the medication. Yeah, they took the medication out of the box and put it in a bottle for me. Why, if they were uh, doing a le legitimate thing, they took the medication, the nine pills uh, that comes in a box, out of the box and put it in a in a, a bottle, and then they unwrapped uh, one of the medication and put it in the bottle. I'm not going to take a medication that is taken out of the wrap, out of its uh, wrap, wrapping papers. Okay. So, um, so let, me, let me follow up with the store, find out uh, why there was a reject on that, uh, on that prescription, and see if we can call and find out, uh, get some information, and then I will uh, get back to you, okay? Well, in the meantime, I'm going to continue to inform the public about what Walgreens is doing. So let me have your phone number and your contact information. So in case I need to call you back, uh, I can do so. You are at this phone number, 585-338-3229, five, uh, five, two, uh, two, two, right? The, the store, yeah, the, the number you just called me at, yep. And the fax number there is? Uh, we don't have a fax to, for uh, non-doctor non fax. Okay, do you have an email address? Uh, 